Hi guys, Kahu here and welcome to the very first episode of Kicking It With Kahu. This series is all about professional esports. We'll find out more about a person behind a gamer tag. We'll find out more about the brains behind a team leader and we will see just what goes in to being an esports professional. Our first guest is Zarinas. He is a League of Legends player and plays top lane for Diawals. He has been a national champion, an InterVarsity champion and an OCS champion. So kick back while I kick it with Zarinas. Hi guys, we're here with Cameron and we're going to find out more about the man behind the tag, Zorinus. Cameron, hello, thank you so much for joining us today. Hello, hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, now I think we need to start with origin story. Let's start with Cameron and then we'll talk about Zorina. So Cameron, who are you? Where are you from? How old are you? What's your interest? Introduce yourself, please. I'm Cameron, you might know me better by Zorinus. Um, I'm 21 now, like currently I'm studying at university at Sydney. I'm doing, I'm saying math and computer science. And in terms of other interests, um, besides League, like I play a couple other games, but less frequently now. I am quite interested in chess though, so I do dabble a bit of that in the side. I mean, in terms of my origins for playing League, Originally, I think I first started playing games with, like the first big games were on Nintendo actually. Um, I was a big fan of Pokemon, like a lot of people were. And then that just eventually evolved, like I got into playing PS2, various games on that. And then eventually I just became a PC gamer. A question, who was your starting Pokemon? Oh no, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> Oh, what's the, I think, it's like the turtle one. What, what's this called? Uh, oh, turtle <laughs> league. There we go. Yes. Anyway, now that we have the most important part out of the way, which is what is your preferred startup, where did the name Zarinus come from? What's the story behind that? All right. So it's kind of random. Basically, way back, I wanted to make a Minecraft account. Add... For a Minecraft account, I wanted something cool. I basically, I chose something, I thought, this sounds cool, right? But then when I actually made the account, I, I lost the email or something and I just couldn't access it again. So I just changed a few letters in the name because I couldn't make the same name again. And that's how I ended up with Zoretus today. Oh, I was like expecting some like backstory or some god or something, but no, you just, you got locked out. Yeah, of it's, um. <laughs> I, I used the, the names of two Greek cods and uh, put them together. Cool, that's awesome. Um, so you are a professional player. Um, you're quite young. My question is, at what point did you realize that it was more of a hobby and you actually have a chance to be a professional player? Was there like a distinct moment? I didn't really actually have any plans of really going pro. Uh, it's like I have been playing for like it was more of a hobby. I had been playing for uni um, on the side. Uh, it wasn't until like this year that like I really considered it when I was asked uh, by Divers to play. What is your, you spoke briefly that you do play other games. Um, do you have a relaxing game? Is it LOL or do you play well, a completely different game to get your mind off it? Right now... Honestly, I like kind of just play chess to relax a bit. As you might know, League is not that relaxing. Um, so at least in chess, like I can't blame anyone else for my mistakes. Um, now this is your rookie year in the LCO. So please tell us, how are you finding it so far? It's good so far. I think like we've had our struggles as uh, a lot of teams have had, but I think like our team, we're mostly like full of rookies slash like people who haven't been playing for that long professionally. So our feeling is just going to keep going up as we go through the weeks and we keep getting better. Cool. And what is something about being a pro that you wasn't that you weren't expecting or you weren't prepared for? Maybe the hate, to be honest. Really? I, well like a lot a lot of the players like get way more upset. It's kinda of funny. But um <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting like how much more annoyed people would get. On that note, I did see a tweet um, with someone who did say something quite negative uh, to you. 
Uh, do you know which one I'm referring to? Yeah, yep, yeah, I am aware. Can I just ask what happened there? There's like a new strat which is playing Smite top lane, which is low economy. Essentially, you're trying to not take XP and you're trying to abuse like objective bounties and just apply extra pressure to the lane. Uh, essentially, it, it didn't go too well early, but the teammate in question uh, like doesn't like playing with the strategy because he thinks it's just straight up trolling. Uh, and then he just gets extremely um, frustrated. I guess one of, that's one of the things with um, going professional is that I imagine a lot of you guys were solo players and now you're in a team. Is, is that how it came about, about with you? Did you play with a team prior or were you just a solo player? Uh, yep, yeah, so I did play like as I said before, so I, I did play OCS before, um, like two years ago. So like that was one team thing, but I have been playing like uni for a, a couple years as well. So like I have, I have had team experiences in competitive. Because it's such, it would be such a different dynamic, wouldn't it? Working with a team and a whole like new yeah. skill set as well. Yeah. When I read that tweet, I thought that the message that was sent to you was pretty toxic, in my opinion. Uh, how common is this kind of communication between pro players. I think honestly, most of the scene is fine. Mm -hmm. Most of the players are generally fine. Like some people might be like a little bit toxic in like solo queue, um, but as a whole, I think like people are generally fine. It's just you've got like a couple people who are really bad compared to the rest, and like that taints the scene, in my opinion. I think it's good that you are shedding a bit of light on you know some of the things that do go on behind the scenes. And, you know, I think it's really important that you guys enjoy yourselves and, you know, you guys are, are looked after and not getting this toxic communication. Do you have a way to, like, keep positive and, like, not let that get to you? When I've been game, I basically just never type. I think that's what annoys them uh, more, <laughs> that I just don't respond to them. Like, if you respond to them, like... You're basically bringing yourself like down to their level and like they're going to beat you at it because they've had more experience at it, right? Um, so I, I think the best way is just to ignore it and focus on your own game. Good, a good answer. Now, how many hours a day do you play video games? It, it varies day to day. So it depends on like whether we have Grimms or not on that day. Maybe I'd say like five hours on average. Like currently I'm not really playing other video games besides League. Uh, so it's basically just League. Um, but I mean, there's other times like I'll play less so I can watch more VODs or something. So it just varies day to day. How small is the scene? How often do you kind of rub shoulders with the same? Do you see the same people all the time or? In o Oceania, it's pretty, it's like it's pretty a small region. Cause a lot of the, uh, the good players have gone, gone overseas you're left with like the dregs <laughs> and yeah you'll see that most of the time in like solo queue and everywhere now you said that you spend on average about five hours a day gaming how do you have a work-life balance uni for me actually starts next week i've been able to focus more of my time on just league um, but what i have done for uni is i've got electives that i can pick subject for like this year uh, so I have chosen some rather easy subject to make it easier on myself. Uh, so th that's like, that's how I'm going to keep the balance. That totally sounds like me taking photography, sculpture and like every art paper. Yeah, I, I looked up like, <laughs> what's the easiest uh, elective? And I picked that subject. Work smarter, not harder. Yep. Where to from here in terms of one, professional gaming, and then two, just your personal life? I mean, always the goal, like the goal for us as a team is to go MSI, go to Worlds. Like that is the ultimate goal and we will, like, we're confident we can actually achieve that. Um, and then for my personal life, like, it's just going to be uni to be honest. Um, yeah, I'll be pretty busy with uni and, and league. Have you met your other teammates in person? Uh, a couple of them, not all of them. So you guys have only really interacted online? Basically, like I've only met like two or three of them like once in person <laughs> at, at media day. And that's it. 
I mean, I guess just with the nature of gaming, it, it all works online. Um, yep. But then do you guys have like team bonding or anything outside of the games? Sometimes, sometimes. Do you play right. chess with them? <laughs> oh, that caused too many, <laughs> too well, many uh, arguments. Well, I, we haven't played chess. I, I don't know. There's probably someone who's actually good at that. I'll get my ass kicked probably, but um, we play like we play some games occasionally together. For those who want to keep up with you and follow you, how can they do that? Uh, you can follow me on Twitter. It's at Zerenus. Um, I don't post that much, but when I do, it's sure to be a banger. And saying that, your your last post did, uh, did cause waves a little bit. So yeah. He's, he's telling the truth. Well, well, thank you so much for joining us today. Um, I really appreciate you. It's been really good to get an insight into the player himself. Thank you for having me. Thank you very much and all the best with your professional career. Thank you.